Wir sind wieder in der Mode von Low Ready und ich stehe hier zusammen mit Dave von Sig Sauer und Dave wird uns heute am letzten Tag der IWA noch einmal das derzeitige Flaggschiff von Sig Sauer, die P320 moderieren. First of all, Dave, thanks for having me. Uh, my pleasure. How has been the show so far? Very busy. Very busy. A lot of interest. All right, but that's a good thing, right? A very good thing. I was just uh, talking to our viewers that you uh, have the time to give us a quick rundown on uh, the new, uh, a new polymer pistol, the six hour P320. Yes. All right, so let's get started on it. Okay. So I will take you through uh, just one version and then we can talk about a specialized version, which is the competition model. All right, so what is this version about? Okay, so this version, if you look across this entire spectrum, you see different size pistols, subcompact, compact, this is called carry, and this is full size. The sizes are, are determined by the length of the slide and the length of the grip. This is a full length slide and a full length grip. This model has the same full length grip, but a shorter slide and barrel. This model has the same barrel and slide length, but a shorter grip. And this has the shortest barrel and slide and the shortest grip. This is mainly a, a backup gun, concealed carry type gun, and all the way through a full size. The interesting thing about this particular system is that not only is the grip a certain height, but in each family you have a large, a medium and a small circumference to accommodate many different hand sizes. You can also convert through different calibers. You have 9 millimeter, 40 Smith and Wesson, 357 SIG. There's a fourth caliber, 45 ACP, but if you choose a 45 ACP, it stays a 45. All it can right. go to the different sizes, but it will always be a 45. Lately, more and more companies are putting out polymer pistols. So, what was the idea behind the making the P320 to make it special and different from all the other pistols on the market? Well, there are some key differences. The polymer nature uh, is very popular. Many people like a polymer gun. It's a little lighter in weight, more corrosion resistance, uh, just many different things that you can do with a polymer gun. The original uh, convertible style like this was made by SIG in the P250 and that's a double action only pistol. The 250 idea was taken further to accommodate a striker firing system and again striker fires are very popular. As we've discussed the different sizes in the grip handles and lengths and slide options this is what makes this so unique. So with the slide lock to the rear I can unlock and remove the slide and barrel combination. I can then continue to disassemble and remove what is officially the firearm. This is the firearm. This is a stainless steel full frame. It is the official frame. This is no longer a frame. This is simply a plastic grip module. All right. I can choose to put this into that model or this or this or any of the options you see here and truly make it modular. It can fit your hand. We can choose one to fit his hand or her hand or anybody else's hand just by choosing the one that fits the best. So what you're saying is that now I don't have to buy three different pistols when I want a full-size pistol, a carrying gun and maybe a subcompact gun. I can use, I can buy one gun and uh, fit it accordingly to my needs. Absolutely, that, and that's really one of the major benefits here. For personal use, uh, depending on where you are, it may be that uh, you have different responsibilities, different missions, different jobs, and the pistol, the firearm, can accommodate any of those tasks. For units, police units, uh, other types of units, uh, we can get a firearm that can now fit everybody's hand in the unit by simply changing out the grip module. Additionally, uh, for example, in law enforcement, when they first enter into law enforcement, it may, oh, it may be the full-size version. But then later, they become a detective and they get a smaller gun. The same serial number can follow them through their service, 
and it doesn't become a logistical problem. Uh, just simply change out the slide and barrel and grip module. Dave, um, from my personal experience, when I go shooting, when I'm down at the range, uh, everyone who sports a six hour or brings a six hour to, to the range, uh, people tend to get uh, interested in and uh, the question I hear most of the time is, oh, can I please try the trigger? So, well, since you're smiling, I mean, it's no secret that six hour is, with its trigger, is among the best in the business. So, what's the secret behind that? And does this also have a pure six hour trigger? I think that uh, it does distinguish itself among all the other uh, striker fire pistols out there. One primary reason is that the trigger is made out of metal. It feels like a trigger, it acts like a trigger, and because of the way the system works, it does not take a lot of pressure to finish the striker set. And when I press the trigger, there's a little bit of movement, and then it comes to a pressure wall, and all I have to do is move the rest of the way, and it's a crisp break, a very crisp break. Additionally, when the slide cycles, you can see that it is a very short reset before I'm ready to take the next shot. And it's the same trigger press every time, every single shot. Thanks for giving us a rundown on the new uh, P320. And I'm going to see you later and you're going to show us another model that is uh, particularly interesting for people who use sports shooting and marksmanship shooting. Very happy to do that. See you later. Yes.